Hey there folks, so today we are going to have a look at product life cycle by using the pirate metrics. It's also called the double A triple R funnel. So let's have a quick look over what this means. So this funnel contains uh, or consists of five stages. The first one being acquisition, second being activation, then retention, referral and revenue. So let's have a look what each of these means separately one by one. So the first one is acquisition. So ac Acquisition basically means how the customers find us or the how or how the customer is being acquired to the product, right? For an app like Instagram, it could be just a Play Store download. For a website, it could be an onboarding on the website through a simple sign up form. So that is what acquisition means. The next one comes is activation. So activation is when does the user realize the product value? It's not the first step taken on the product. So do not have that misconception. Activation is when the user realizes the value of the product. So for example, for Facebook, the mythical activation would be uh, filling the onboarding form on Facebook application or making a profile, right? But the actual activation for Facebook is making the first 15 friends. So by the time the user makes their first 15 friends, they get the value of Facebook, right? So that is what activation means. Now let's come to the next stage that is retention. So retention tells us about how often the user uses the product. So is, is the user coming to the product daily? Is the, uh, is the user using the product uh, X number of times in a particular period of time? So for LinkedIn, it could be sim as simple as number of time the user is launching the app, right? Similarly, it could be the number of times the user comes to the app in a, in a period of time. It could be days, months or even years, right? The next stage that comes is referral. So referral tells us about how well you've transformed your user into the advocate of your product. So how well are they, you know, te how well are they referring the product to their social circle and their friends? So we've seen a very good example of referral programs in products like Slack. Slack, what they did was that uh, they, if I wanted as a user to come to the software or to use the product, I had to be invited by my friend. So it very quickly spread across. So that is uh, an example, a very good example of referral stage of a product. The next stage or the last stage that comes is revenue. How could money be generated through a product? How does the user add revenue to the product? So it could be simple by selling services or products inside a product. So for Spotify, for example, it's premium subscription. They sell premium subscription as a product to their users. Right. So this is a very quick brief about the five stages of our uh, pirate metric funnel. Now let's have a good a, a small activity before you leave. But before that, I have two points to mention. The first point being the funnel is in no particular order for it differs for different different products for a product. Uh, the retention could come before the activation or the revenue could come before the acquisition itself right so it differs from products to product the second point these metrics or these stages of funnel are users perspective the product is never required the user is acquired the product is never retained the user is retained right the product that generates no revenue the user generates revenue for the product so that was it from my side now the your part comes to play where you have to comment down one metric for each of the funnel for any B2C product of your choice. Pick up a product, think of it and choose write down the metrics for them. Right? That's it for the day. Thank you so much.